going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. I'm going to title this, uh, this video, Load Board Battles, right? I saw this load, and I have to understand what is actually going through the mind of people that post this, these type of loads. It, it just, I can't, it, let me just get, let me just get to, let me just get to the load. I saw this load on Friday, and it said, uh, it was a, a steel coil. It was uh, 8,000 pounds steel coil, needed a coil rack, needed a chain, needed a tarp. And it was going from Sparrows Point, Maryland to Baltimore, Maryland, which is, in the perfect world, is 13 miles. You know, you hit, click the little on the DAT board, DAT, D-A-T, DAT. So you click the little map thing, and it will show, you know, show the route, going through the city, cross 40 and down to where it needed to go. And... Um, in the perfect world, it's 13 miles. Well, we all know that that mileage is always off. And since you can't take the truck through the city, <coughs> you either have to go 695 south. I guess it's south. You know, pay the toll. I think it's $24. Or you take the long way around, go all the way up top around, you know, come around that way. Um, which is going to take you more time. So the load paid $150. And I'm thinking, are you freaking serious? What was the brokerage, brother man? SunTech Brokerage. I don't know what office it was. SunTech Brokerage. And um, I saw another YouTuber. He don't post videos no more. It's probably the last... He, he talked about... He was, <laughs> he was calling on loads. Um, I forget what the guy's name was. And he was calling on loads. And he called a... SunTech Sunwreck, right? <laughs> and I'm not I'm not bashing their company. I'm just telling you what they had posted. I'll post a picture down here probably at the end of the video if I figure out how to do it. And um <laughs> I was like 150 bucks? Are you serious? So well that's ten dollars a mile, brother man. So let's look at the time it's gonna take to do that load. Now worst case scenario, it might take you half a day to do that load. Yeah, it may be, oh, it's only, you know, it, it, you just get in and out. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, 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 you know. <laughs> How many times have we heard that, right? So it may take you six hours to do that load, five, six hours to do that load. So now let's let's look at the time involved. So you mean to tell me you're going to tie up your equipment, let's say $100,000 worth of equipment, maybe more, maybe less. Plus your salary. Well, I don't pay myself, brother man. I all my profits go to the truck. Okay, whatever. Some people pay themselves. All right, <laughs> I gotta say this stuff. And um, so you're tying up hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. Now you need to be paid, or maybe you have a driver in there, whatever. And uh, plus your other expenses. However, however much it costs you to run your truck per hour or per day or whatever. So you're looking at. Okay, it's a half a day. So whatever, a full day minus that another a half a day, you know, so that comes you with another half a day. So so you're gonna tie your truck up for all that time for $150, right? And you got tolls if you go across the toll road, right? So you're gonna tie your truck up. So let's say a hundred and was a twenty-four one was a twenty-four hundred and um twenty-six dollars. So you're going to tie your truck up for a half a day for $126. Plus, you got a tarp, too? Come on, man. And I just want to think about when brokers post these loads on the board, what are they thinking about? Well, that's all the customer's paying. You know, we keep 50, we're keeping 50 bucks. That's all we're paying. That's all we're paying. Well, now, see, if I was a freight, now, I'm not a freight broker. Um... I'm on the transportation side, but if I, there's some freight brokers that watch my videos, y'all got to help me understand. If somebody calls you, if a shipper calls you up and says, we have a load, we need move from over here, point A needs to go over to point B, and we need it moved, uh, we're trying to get it moved for X amount of that, like this load, for, for example. And they tell you, well, we're trying to get it moved for $200. Now, being that I run a truck, I would say, 
um, no, that's not going to work for us. You know, it's going to be X amount. Let's just say it's going to be $600, okay? Or more, you know, some people would charge $1,000 to do that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, being conservative, it's going to be $600. Now, this is the broker side, right? Now, I'm not a freight broker. It's going to be $600. Now, if the customer don't want to pay that, then, you know, I would tell, I'm sorry that that doesn't work for us. You know, I, I uh, maybe you want to call somebody else. <coughs> I've done that before. Um, say if you took it for $600, okay, you keep $100 for your, your, your service. You know, I understand that freight brokers have, a, they're providing a service to the carriers. Okay. They're, you know, they're the intermediary between the shipper and the carrier. So, okay, here's, you keep a hundred bucks for your time, putting the paperwork together, blah, 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 everything else. Then the carrier gets $500, you know, to utilize half of his, his day, half of his clock. Okay. Um, which is a hundred dollars an hour, which is, you know, that's, that's pretty reasonable considering you're tying up $70,000 worth of equipment or more or less, depending on what it is. But I just I just shake my head when I see this stuff. And I understand that brokers are, well, I shouldn't say all of them. A lot of brokers are taught to sell a load to the cheapest truck. Well, the lot, you get what you pay for. And um, you just get what you pay for. So with that being said, if I was a freight broker, where did I come up with this, right? And I kind of understand it. Because I used to, I used to be the one of the We Buy Houses guys, you know, you can take a course on YouTube, everybody has a We Buy Houses course, you know, and it's all pretty much all the same, same information. Basically, here's how it works. You ready? You put up a sign on the side of the road, We Buy Houses, phone number. Somebody calls you, some people are curious, some people were just, you know, they're desperate, they need their have too much um uh they owe too much on the house and what the house is worth because they bought it too high of a price or whatever you took out a second mortgage or whatever right so i would get these calls hey uh we have this house that we want to sell what are you looking at okay we go out go look at it we um you know estimate the repairs and everything like that now the investors that we were working with, they ain't paying retail for a house. They'll they'll pay a fair price, but they ain't paying retail. So let's say the house is worth a hundred thousand dollars retail, right? If the house didn't need anything, you're looking at they're looking at buying at about sixty five hundred to seventy thousand dollars, sixty five thousand to seventy thousand dollars, all in, including your fee. So you would have to tell the seller, uh, we can give you $60,000 $60, for it. So you got a $5,000 window where you need to be at. So the seller will come back and say, oh, well, we'll let it go for $90,000. That ain't working. I would say, I'm, I'm sorry, but, you know, uh, we need to be at this number for it to work for everybody. And I would t I'll get plenty of calls. And they'll tell you, these <laughs> message one of these... Um, uh, they're called wholesalers. And that's just one of these wholesalers. They'll tell you. They'll tell you the same thing. So, now, is every scenario like that? No. But, you know, it more often than not, that's what the scenario is. Pe people will see, we buy houses. They think they're going to get a full cash offer for their house. And what does this have to do with, with trucking, brother, man? I'm just telling you about, I was, I was already on that side. And I already did that. I told the customer, a potential customer, now... We can't do that. That's not how we work. We know this is the number that we have to be at to to for everybody um, to get the deal done, get the transaction completed. Um, so that's all. I mean, I just and I I bet freight brokers they're not trained to to think like that. You know, they just see okay, well I can make you know four hundred dollars off this load, and the truck makes two hundred or whatever, and you know we ripped them and. We we gonna keep it moving, but is that good business? I mean, seriously. I mean, when you go to the, um, uh, I'll just leave that. I'll just I'll just stop the video right here. I don't know. We're already here at. Hold on.
59, 10, 10. We're at 10 minutes and one, 10 minutes and three seconds. All right, we'll see you in the next one.